Skins in gaming are usually a nice way to show your status, either by completing challenges and progressing through the game like you would in older Call of Duty titles, or just show that you have a lot of disposable income, like in modern Call of Duty and League of Legends. It's fun to customize your gear and personalize your experience, and when done right, skins can be a cool part of progressions in the game. They can serve as an extra goal for completionists when you run out of things to do in the game, might as well go for that golden camo, right? Somewhere along the lines when pay titles started to embrace free-to-play monetization schemes and sell skins for real-life money, they started to cross a certain threshold where they just ruined the experience. The first issue I have with those skins is that they sometimes are too much and can be very overwhelming. In games like League of Legends where I haven't played for a while and I don't know all the new champions, seeing random animations from different skins can be very confusing in chaotic situations like teamfights and the animation spam along with the other effects can be sometimes too much. I believe this is the reason why Valorant has never sold skins for their Valorant operators since the visual and sound cues are very important in a hero based tactical FPS. The second issue I have is that it completely takes you out of the experience. Playing as Nicki Minaj with her pink hair and the plunging cleavage can be great for content creation and funny for maybe two games until it really takes you out of the Call of Duty experience. It's not a super realistic game and it's not like my immersion breaks because of the skins, it just makes Call of Duty feel more like Fortnite, which I guess is the intended result judging by the success of the game and the amount of money it generated. I'm fine with having those skins in Warzone, but in multiplayer it's really annoying, especially when it's a non-human skin like Gaia in Call of Duty, which makes me feel like I'm playing a degenerate Gmod RP server. The third issue with skins is that they can affect your gameplay. They can be less visible and blend better with the environment, which makes target acquisition in FPS games harder. In a Twitchy game like Call of Duty, it could be a huge advantage, and the fact that those skins are behind a paywall really aggravates the issue. But the worst issue with modern skins is the fact that I can't turn them off. Most games don't have the option natively, you either need to play around with the game's files and that can be overwritten in a future patch, or you can download a third party program, which most games might not allow and therefore you risk being banned from the game. Why is that? To understand why you don't have the feature of turning off skins, you have to first understand the nature of skins. They provide you two benefits, seeing something different on your screen as a player and showing off to other players, the latter being the main feature. Why would you buy a skin to show off if other players can choose to just ignore it? Especially in a first person game where the enemy sees how your character looks for 99% of the game and you only get to see it on loading screens and in post game scoreboards. Honestly I just want to be able to play a league against the default skins so the animations are not confusing because some of them can really blur the line between similar skills of other champions and make it harder to create a habit based on visual cues. I just want to be able to play Call of Duty multiplayer without a tree man jumping in front of my screen or Nicki Minaj teabagging me after she ran me over with her pink truck. Honestly, how did we go from a cool blue tiger gun to this? I just want to personalize my experience and feel a little bit more attached to my character, not play Fortnite in Call of Duty. Teamfights in League of Legends are chaotic as is. I don't need extra screen clutter and random animations. Just let us turn it off.